Okay, so here we are, Science of the Times News. And we are in uh, Thursday, August 18, 2010. Privatize the strike in the Armageddon war of money that is going on. And we are reporting about Armageddon in South Africa, specifically here, the Congress of South African Trade Unions. Obviously, that is how your business is acting in unity. That's why trade unions, uh, they are now taking the strike to the next phase where they are attacking private schools and hospitals. That means money cannot buy you security anymore. <laughs> that is inevitable. And remember that this war is now one that is happening Yearly, it is a continuous cycle of war for higher wages. And this is going to go on for some time as a sign of the ages. So, what are we going to do? Because there is not enough money. And as businesses are being destroyed in this war, there is obviously less money being generated more and more people are dying in this war. What is really going on? Is it an attempt to have corporate takeovers? Is it an attempt to misdirect, to steal the, company, the country's resources? It's the latter one. Steal the resources and take the remaining resources and place it under corporate control and you have slaves in this world. And that is the point of Armageddon. No one will buy without a number. And the number you need is in your pocket as a number of notes. Some money. The equal money system will solve this problem. Support the beast. Because the mind as it exists in this world as knowledge, wisdom, intellect and the economic system of democracy, free choice and the mockery of religion is certainly not worthy of anything because it is allowing Armageddon to take place without a solution. The beast say each being, each person on earth that is a physical person needs food, a place to say and education. That must be equal for all. The beast say that in mathematical terms of 1 plus 1 equals 2, the physical reality determines the basic minimum wage that is necessary as a basic income for every human being and every animal. Remember, not only the humans need food, animals as well. Animals are also bound to the money system Plants are also bound to the money system because plants need water. And the humans decide how water is distributed through money. So everyone is actually exposed to money. We are proving that to destiny in our research where we feed the animals. The moment you feed the animals and the money point is taken away, the behavior of the animals change. The humans, the same will happen. When all humans are fit, you don't have Armageddon anymore. There's no need to go on strike. There's no need to prevent uh, schools from operating. There is no need to attack pupils that want to study. There is no need for people that need to go to see a doctor to be prevented from doing that. And there is no need for corrupt officials in this world that seek out money to protect themselves. Why? They need a lot of money so they can buy booze, pay for sex. I mean, that's the basic principle of so-called freedom in this world. Sex and booze and drugs. I mean, isn't that what the spiritual people show us in their protection of drugs and their protection of free choice so they can have some enlightenment to balance Let me enlighten you. Go and do some mathematics and you'll see what is the solution. It's really simplistic. It is 1 plus 1 equals 2. It's a simple mathematical, mathematical equation that solves all problems on earth. That's God, isn't it? 1 plus 1 equals 2. All knowledge in one equation. God, are you exposed? <laughs>